so you have to do practical in it just study guys study what is domain sir after that also class uh, no class because some are uh, unable to attend okay okay so you have to come to and mainly practice and study afternoon class uh, free means it does not mean free you have to practice and as well as study every day complete your exercises so then it is you will get to ready understanding you can able to explain any time guys don't rest so somewhere like after one month two months interview is there okay so people will ask the questions after one month and it's not like that any time mock interview will be there any time interview will be there so be ready repeatedly study anything okay so first thing is group policy so here it is what is a group policies so first one is we can it is a a powerful administrate to tool it's a powerful administration tool okay so very important so the main definition is it enforce various things to users and computers exactly say large number of users and computers various settings to spelling okay it enforce various settings to large number of users and computers there is a certain words like this is the environment of group policy is a very powerful administrator to enforce various type of settings to large number of users and computers yeah it is already we got open so then i will put it what is the use of this one so we can enforce various type of settings to large number of users and computers what is this settings security settings desktop settings folder redirection network settings like a different type of settings we can able to enforce different type of settings we can able to enforce it so here it is look at this one already i told um a user must not create data on the desktop so i have a large number of users are there i want to enforce a setting <coughs> i want to enforce that setting so i am going to this one this is my domain controller and i have a multiple user based computers are there in my domain okay so what happened here i want to enforce users must not create any data on the screen on the desktop so what i have done i create a policy and i will apply this policy to what type of user base it is on ou on a domain like that so entire domain users are a particular sector of users particular sector of users for example i link to entire domain i link this policy so again here it is uh, i created a group policy one link to my domain 16.com entire domain any user in the domain will get this policy so a policy is for example user should not create a data on the desktop so he cannot create the desktop no, entire domain entire domain like that for example i have a hrs hr should access the printer i have a printer in the network i have a printer in the network i have a printer in the network only where hrs accounts are there those hrs should access this printer others don't know about a printer 
so only hr users are there they will like for example archana can able to access the printer okay or uh, get the printer directly okay like that so what i have done i'll create a policy printer policy i link to hr only so only the users and computers in the hr will affect with the policy those will get the settings printer settings okay printer settings i create a policy like a, a gpo 3 i link this policy to uh, java users so what is this policy it is so where the java related users are there login so for example priya is in a java ou okay so i link the policy to the java ou so priya for example i want to deploy an application i want to deploy an application so uh, jar uh, jre runtime environment required or uh, some application required id is required uh, eclipse is required or maybe python environment is required so what it is done i create a policy for that setting i create a policy for that setting and link to the java ou the java ou users where wherever they log in they will get application directly they will get a application directly okay so here it is they get a applications for example okay gpo 1 is like a, a desktop restrictions uh, hr will get a printer these two users will get a printer okay uh, i link to the domain means either it is hr or java ou users or hr content users it support users whatever it is they cannot create a data on the desktop they cannot create a data on the desktop so this is like a group policy guys okay the group policy means we can enforce various type of settings to large number of users and groups okay the group policies you can link to you can link to organizational units domains and uh, sites also group policies cannot link to not link to directly a user group policy applied on user but you cannot link to a user directly you cannot link to the groups you can't link to the computers okay so this is guys here it is understanding first one is gpo is a container which contains group policy objects gpo group policy object nothing but container nothing but a container stores stores group policies group policies means different group policies like a group policy 1 group policy 2 like that so it will stores group policies okay so names you can see a name a uh, group policy uh, setting it is like a just a group policy it's, a, it's nothing but a uh, we can call that one as a cpo only okay group policy or uh, gpos container there is a container inside a container we have a inside a container so we'll get a list of things so i will show you that we will understand but in gpo we specify a setting we have a we have to tell settings in the group policies okay in a group policy it's a name only in that one we have to do setting okay and then we have to link it so what sir it is guys we have to follow a sequence to do this practical so it is a steps we have to follow first of all you have to 
go to server manager the server manager go to tools then go to group policy management group policy management so when you open this one gpmc will open what will happen gp mc group policy management console will open so create a gpo to first create a, a group policy name that's a name nothing will there next you have to edit it okay edit required settings so settings in the editor that is a group policy editor group policy management editor will open in that one you have to do settings first of all you have to create edit once edit is completed link where to link for you or domain or a site you can able to link it okay link to for you or particular for you or a domain site understand right so if you link to the OU, only OU users can computers will get the setting if you link to the domain all users and computers in the domain will get the setting if you link to the site under site uh, what are the users are there which is belongs to different domains or domain controllers will affect with that policy they will get set setting okay better once you re refresh and check this is not a step just you have to do that one next update policy updating means go to your run or a cmd no volume put a command called a gp update slash force guys this is a world method uh, updating the policy but still you have to do it okay some people said i know why you are doing this one without this one also working yes without updating the policy it works but update the policy whether it works or not it will solve a lot of problems if anything issues are there then definitely it will give you uh, it will throw an error error is important okay working is okay but if you got error and then you will understand why it is not working so so group policy enforce is verify both the server and client are in the same time it means both are maintaining time correctly it means my server in a new jersey i'm in india new jersey maintain new jersey related time zone with their time indian client maintain india time and uh, in indian time zone no problem no problem correct time no problem if in case my server is in New Jersey. My my client is in uh, Pune. And uh, both are different times. So are uh, something has changed like uh, that is a New Jersey time zone. My client is also New Jersey time zone. But time is Indian time for a client. They are American time follow. So like that time zone and time must be matches. Either both are in a both time zones same time zones same time or different time zones based on the time zone time should be configured or use a NT purpose okay so if it is mismatches it throw an error then we can able to troubleshoot that time like so different kind if server is not available so like that okay and both server and client pc Next, verify. Verify means you have to go to client and whether policy is applied or not. But here it is, two things are there. When you are editing, you have to edit either in a user configuration computer configuration user configuration and a computer configuration to 
configurations are there in the editing. OK, for example. For verify, if you configure under user configuration, you must sign out and uh, sign in with the user. So it will be work. OK, if in case you configured under computer configuration, you must restart or next boot. OK, policy will apply on a next boot or you have to restart it. Policy will apply on a sign in. In user can means you configured under user configuration mode. Just sign out and sign in is enough. For, or just you sign in and policy will apply automatically. Computer configuration, you configure under computer configuration. OK, you have to restart your computer. So guys, these are the steps. One by one step, we will see it. OK, so what I'm going to do is that's my common one. So that's first of all. So I currently log in in a sorry, problem. What are the what which user is you are there? Mainly the user must be in a domain. I'm going to control panel. Just go to run and type control. Or you can search bar, you can type control also. Okay. Yeah, here here it is only. Look at a step by step. Guys, everything is visible or not? <coughs> yes, sir, it's visible. Visible, right? Network and internet. I'm going to network and internet. Change your home page. Change your home page. Click on here. Change your home page. Look at here. General home page. This is for changing home page. Startup tabs browsing history appearance are there in this general tab i'm going to disable this general tab using group policies using group policies also you can go to internet options same thing will open like a general tab so when i click uh, this change your home page or uh, internet options it is opening the general tab so there you can able to change the home page also okay so this is opening and working Current user is login as a Sai Babu only. OK, leave like that, no problem. So I'm going to create a group policy first and verify. So how to do it? Server manager tools. Server manager tools. Group policy management. OK, can you able to see? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a group policy management console. Look at here to group policy management forest. And expand domains site something it is also showing right under domains. What domain it is? To showing my domain. So these are all voice only. OK. So one more point I forget. So here it is. We cannot link to users, groups, computers and uh, um, default. Containers means OUs. They know we can't link. Why? Because it is not appear here. Except domain controllers. Okay, except domain controllers. Remaining are I created. Developers, HR, I, I. Understand, guys? Use of OU. You cannot link to users. You can't link to computers. So compulsory on to apply a policy. You should go to OUs only or domain wide. So, so here it is. Radius, sir. What it is? 
we are domain. In, we are creating domain 16.com another domain also creation in domain sir is available in option uh, uh, it is showing an under forest where is my diagram no it is not there i can't open another one so first we create forest after we create domain sir yeah for, uh, when you create when you create a a domain so nothing you don't have any forest and all so you'll create a first domain right when you create a first domain okay so that is a forest automatically this is the forest level domain controller forest will be created when you create a first domain that is a root level domain controller so do to domain this is the root domain when you create so automatically forest will create okay if in case if in case your forest is created you once we done a forest is created my forest is domain16.com now i can create a multiple trees in the same forest i can create a multiple trees in the same forest okay then forest is domain16 and domain16 itself a domain and remaining are other domains for example i i, I create a, another domain is um, um uh, is like a, a cts15 cts16.com okay or maybe pune.com hyderabad.com or child uh, uh, domains i can able to create it okay the forest is first created first one root domain when you create forest is created after that one we have to create a trees if i want to create something like uh, you know it is uh, 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 cts 16.com tree so you have to go to second option so when you are installing domain controller you have to go to second option there it is add a domain to existing forest that one you have to select a tree how to select a tree how to give my forest name domain16.com forest name and my domain name cts16.com okay so this is the tree we can able to create it okay if you have a multiple domains in the same forest maybe it shows okay uh, domains under this one under forest under domains you can see multiple domains okay we don't have that environment so don't worry about it Okay, what sir it is, guys? We have a domain. Sir, one Group policy object. How to forest creation? Sir. How to creation forest, sir? How to create forest? We already created, na? Yeah, okay. Again, simply I will tell. Remember, first step. You don't have forest. You don't have a forest. For example. Yes. think tata companies existed uh, uh, 200 years back no right it is maybe 100 years back okay, okay. so first jrd tata came up okay so then uh, he created a tata company maybe their their grandfather someone is created a tata company right till the time tata is not there tata company is not there tata sir there but tata company is not there right tata steel created or tata airlines is created indian airlines is created right so before that one it is not existing so first time someone started a business tata business then it is tata business is started later remaining things are came up same thing when you are installing a domain you choose a third option when you are installing in a domain controller you choose a third option you said add a new forest and root to domain so automatically your forest is created so i created a first domain okay this is my root domain when i create this one automatically my forest is created this is my forest okay this is my forest all remaining are trees or childs depends upon how you configure okay like that so first time we created automatically you create a forest only
OK, so. Where are we? Yeah, here it is. Guys, by default, there is a two policies are there. If you want to go and read it, you can read it, but don't delete it. Don't change anything in these two policies. Do not do anything with these policies. OK. If you want, you can read it by go to settings. OK. By go to settings, you can read it. What is their content of these policies? But do not delete it. Do not change anything. OK. Yeah, so we'll go back once. Tools. Group policy management. OK, group policy management. OK. And uh, first of all, expand this. Expand domains. Expand uh, your domain. OK, and go to group policy objects. Expand it. OK, what is the first step to create a group policy? What is the first step to create a group policy? Create. It is new. Newly you are creating. So what to do? Right click. New. OK. Next, uh, I'm putting a, some name to it. Guys, don't give GPO1, GPO2. That is for uh, explanation purpose only. But this is for uh, under understanding what settings you are done internally. So based on that, I'm giving. So I'm putting a uh, IE restriction. Don't worry, uh, how I make up this name because of test book. <laughs> The Microsoft test book. I'm not my, not my personal test book. So first example in the Microsoft test book. This is an example. So IE restriction policy. Sorry. What I have done. So just wait. Um, yeah. Editor is open, so close it. OK, guys. What I have done, so I went to group policy object, right click new and I given IE restriction kind of stuff. OK, then click OK. Yeah, it is see it is created like this. So unnecessary things better to delete it. OK, unnecessary things better to delete it, which is not required. So don't delete. OK, so be careful when you are doing it. If you delete a default policies, uh, you may get a problem. OK. So IE restriction I created. Uh, guys, I'm feeling very bored. Guys, are you OK? First one. Or I will delete it. Please guide me. What is the first step? I deleted that one from here. Tell me from starting. Tools. Group policy management. If at least one or two people are understand, they can guide others. Right click. New. Put some name. Policy. Uh, which one is like a general tab? Or a general page. OK, so like that. So general tab or a general page. I put a tab here. So policy for that one for understanding. Which policy I'm creating for understanding. I'm giving this name. OK. OK, so this is my policy. Policy created. What is there inside? Nothing. Nothing is there. So click add. Click add. Close. OK, the policy does not contain any settings. User, user configuration, anything, no settings defined, no settings are defined. OK, now first. Right click on this policy. Go to. Edit. Edit. 
second is editing right so edit now group policy management editor is open guys already i told there is a policies computer configuration user configuration related settings if you done any changes under computer configuration okay so you must restart your client computer you must restart the client computer client side only okay so normally you can verify what are the settings are there under each thing like a uh, windows settings software settings for a deploying a software thing okay if you do any settings under computer configuration it will apply on the computer not on a user okay not on a user next one is user configuration what are the settings you change in the user configuration so it is affects on the user only so i am going to user configuration user configuration administrative templates click on administrative templates expand and i am going directly all settings because i know the policy name so then i am doing directly if you don't know the policy name you have to search for the policy name okay but i don't know i it's very difficult to find the policy from this big list so what i am going to do is i click on the all settings go to view sorry actions go to actions filter options filter options select a keyword select enable keyword filters here i am typing general page because i know the policy name general page and uh, extract and extract click okay so obviously again click on this all settings filter is on filter is on so all settings see very big list become a very small list obviously these two are there having a general page i want a disable general page i want a disable general page so double click on a disable general page enable the policy so it is not configured enable the policy and nothing to do it so there is no options only help is there compulsory read it guys compulsory read this what is happen if you are enable this policy okay without knowing it so don't do it okay so compulsory expand this one see little little see enable this policy check any options are available and read what is the content here what will happen if you enable this policy cut it if in case you enable the policy i am enabling it just apply now policy is enabled look at here policy is enabled now what you want to do is no 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 you don't want it you don't want it so again go to it disable the policy apply then not configured apply okay like that only you have to do. don't change it to not configured directly okay so again i'm showing guys i am closing this editor i'm not doing anything just edit right click on the policy edit now where to go where to go user configuration policies administrative templates settings now it is showing very big list of settings actions filter options enable keyword filtering check this one and a keyword is general space page change any to exact click okay it is okay now again click on all settings find it disable general page double click general page enable it okay and click apply and okay 
then obviously it is enabled. Once you are done this one, one set, setting is done. Guys, not only one setting, multiple settings you can do in a single policy. In this single policy, you can do multiple type of settings. I've done only one setting, that's it. Now I close that editor. Just click on this domain name or a forest name. Refresh once. OK, then go to your policy and see the setting. Why it is very small size letters. Show, show like this. You can see user configuration policies, administrative templates, disable general page is enabled. Which setting you have done, you can look at from this settings tab. What is the next step? Create is done. Edit is done. Refresh is also done. I accidentally earlier only I done. So no problem. We can refresh anytime. Link the policy. Next one is link the policy. You have to follow the sequence. Link the policy. OK, link the policy. I am linking to IT support. I am linking to IT support. OK, right click. Right click on IT support. Link an existing GPO. Link an existing GPO. And select your policy. Select your policy. Click OK. So then it is, you can see your policy, we can able to see it. Click OK, right? So you can see scope, links. Where are the policies linked? IT support, HR, like that it will show. OK, where the policies are linked. Who apply this policy will apply on which users, which groups also we can able to define. In your OU, you have a hundred users, but you want to apply on a particular group only. Then you can able to go for security filtering. Or you don't want to apply on a particular user base. Also, you can specify here, don't apply to the particular user or a group. So that's the uh, different details. OK, so also you can see the policy part. Linking policy is completed. Then uh, yeah. Refresh it. Update policy. Go to run or a CMD. Type the command is. GP update. Give the space and force. If you don't give force also no problem. Just I'm giving force. It's a whole habit. So it is successfully completed in a server. Server is not very big deal, but in a client it is very important. So I am logging with the Sai Babu only. Okay, so I am closing these things. Go to run GP update slash force. So what it will do? It will verify is a server is available or not. Okay, uh, server and client is both are maintaining same time zone, time same time, like that. So any issues between like uh, it will pull the policies from server to client. It pull the policies from server to client, but I created a policy under user configuration. So compulsory it will require sign out and sign in. So I sign out from the current user. Uh, guys, where I link the policy on OU, IT support OU. Who are in the IT support OU? Who are in the IT support OU? Sai Babu and Rajneesh. So these two users will affect with this policy. Other users don't affect with this policy. Okay, so you have to log in. Either Sai Babu or Rajneesh to verify it. I'm logging with Sai Babu only. So a battery, I'm going to other user. Password. So you have to verify the policy. 
I don't know if people understand or not. Because all practicals we can do two, three times, but this practical is like that only. OK. I have to show you another practical, then only uh, you can guide me. OK, so that is the thing. Steps are important, guys. For example, interviewer or anyone is asking question like a, how to create a policy, group policy. Go to server manager, tools, group policy management, create a policy, edit the policy, link the policy, update the policy and verify. Verify at a client side, we are verifying it. OK, so that is a five steps are there. Understanding of group policies also very important. Yeah, I like in successful. Then I'm going to control panel. OK. I log into control panel. So network and internet. We should get error. Error means the notification. See it is like this. Access to this feature has been disabled by restriction set by your administrator. System administrator means I create a group policy so users cannot change their home pages. I am clicking on uh, internet options. See that the general tab is missing. The general tab is missing. So if you open uh, your Internet Explorer and you want to delete your uh, <laughs> um, uh, things like uh, what we can say. Uh, your history kind of stuff you want to change the uh, default uh, link like when you are open Microsoft link will open right? So you don't you, you want to change it. You cannot change it. OK, uh, tab is like the settings which is there in a language colors kind of stuff in the general tab. The user cannot do it. So this is the group policy. So what is the group policy means very simple to understand. We create a policy. OK, and we put a setting in the policy. We apply to a OU or a domain. So then users in the OU or a domain will affect with that policy. So they will get that settings. Either it can be a printer settings or network settings, firewall settings or desktop related settings, control panel related settings. OK, or a um, network uh, accessing like a, a storage accessing settings. OK, folder redirections, folder redirections, login logout messages like that you will get it okay that is a group policy group policy means you are enforcing various settings to the large number of users and computers guys very important in a group policies what is group policy group policy is a is it enforce various type of settings to large number of users and computers it is a very powerful administrative tools different settings means it related to network settings network means firewall settings, IPsec settings, application access settings, application deployment settings, application deployment, deploy application softwares, OK, desktop uh, applications or a desktop uh, environment, folder redirections, security settings, you can do it. Group policy can link it to OU domain and site wise. If you link to the OU, the OU users and computers will get that settings. If you link to the domain, all domain users and computers will get that settings. If you are create a policy under user configuration, you need to sign out and sign in. All right. So when user is sign in, then only policy will affect it. If you do the settings under computer configuration, you must require to restart your computer. All right. Policy will apply only on next boot only. To do this. Group policies, you have to follow this. Five steps is better result. So first one, create a new policy, edit the policy, link the policy to OU or a domain or a sites. Multiple OUs also you can link it. Next, update the policy and verify the policy in the client. Of course, there is a command is also there for a, what policies are applied on the client. Also, we can able to get it, but it is works or not. Now we don't know. Uh, yeah, that's not. 
Yeah, I, I will try to open. I will try it. So that is called as GP result command. GP result hyphen H. Okay, in the C drive slash where you want to store. Okay, so like a GP uh, result one dot HTML something. So it is trying to get what are the policies are applied on this particular user and computer. It is pull the all the policies from uh, applied list and it is put it in a one here. OK, so why I'm getting access denied because I didn't. Use administrator you have to use run as administrator type. Run as administrator. But when you do a run as administrator, you have to log in as a administrator. Hence, you have to tell administrator pass. So normal user cannot do the anything. Only administrator accounts. I have only one administrator currently. does not have data so that is another problem for oh, shit no problem better to exit so don't forget about it okay actually it will work so the setting is different so don't worry about it so Guys, are you understand group policy or not? And what are the things are important in the group policies? This is the practical we have done. So you have seen already steps. Um, I think it is okay because already it is a 220 and uh, no one is speaking anything. Because you know your communicate, I will do faster. Okay, sir. Okay, so I will forward another uh, practical. I will try. Okay, so you can also do it like a desktop uh, related one. So you can try it also. Okay. Bye bye for now. So we'll meet you tomorrow. So guys, try to be in a afternoon also for tomorrow. Okay. So then I will finish this one. Otherwise, I will conduct a class on Saturday morning. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. That's it, guys. Bye bye. Tomorrow morning class, sir. Again. Uh, tomorrow morning class. Okay. Afternoon then, no class. Sir. Practice okay. and study. I will forward some more information to you. Yes, yeah, sir. Forward some. Okay. Bye. Do practice. Okay, sir.